he had a fleet of sailing ships. Whether they were freight or, or passenger, we don't know. Yeah. But um, whatever he did made King Charles II very happy. And King Charles II gave him this piece of property. Mm. And he came here with his family and made a farm mm. of it. Oh, that's very nice. And he was uh, English descent. Oh, yes. Him, yeah. mm -hmm. Wow, beautiful. And is the furniture original? No, no. We d I will show you one yeah. original piece upstairs. But when the house was restored and made into a museum, um, people donated furniture that, you know, they tried their best to make it look like the era. Right, right. I can imagine, yeah. yeah. That's a very high back for, yeah. for a sofa. Well, it, there's a wow. name for it. There, there's a yeah. name for those kind of things. <laughs> it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, it does. And who are the two people right we over here? We don't know. Oh. Again, donations. Oh, there are donations. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. And if, if you know anything about harpsichords, we, yeah. don't, know, we don't know anybody <laughs> that can tune it or play it. <laughs> right. I assume the Met might be interested. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> This the house was built by Dutch. Oh, by the Dutch? Yes, okay. we, Even have the had, English paper. we have had, New York City was Dutch then. Yeah. And um, we have had people come through the front door and say, whoa, this is Dutch. <laughs> and the one thing that I remember is the rectors. They go that way. Oh, I see, okay. Anybody else would have made them go this way, sure and this would have had to be a bearing wall. Oh, a what? Mm, bearing. It would have... Oh. Oh, the, I had to have, have a had... bigger wall. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, the Dutch knew what they were doing. <laughs> so this predates Bill up. No, oh, no, no, no. He yeah. had it built. Oh, he had it built. But okay. the people that lived here were Dutch. Oh, so. that's right. Bill, then. And he moved down here amidst all the Dutch residents. Yes, yeah. it was yeah. called New Amsterdam, the whole uh, New yeah. York area. Right. Until the English took over. <laughs> if you want a, a worker to build a house, he's going to be Dutch. So, and then this is what really made us famous. This is what made us the conference house. Yes, and um, interesting enough, that's also September 11th. Yeah. <laughs> um, these guys were in Philadelphia helping Jefferson write. When it was finished, they sent somebody here with a copy of it. If Are you local? Are you from Staten Island? I'm from New York, from Queens. Uh, okay, well, yeah. there's an intersection halfway up the island, yeah. Richmond Road and New Dorp Lane. And there was a tavern there called the Black Horse Tavern. And that's where General Howe, in charge of all the British soldiers, that's where he had his headquarters. Mm. So these guys put a young man on horseback with a copy of the Declaration of Independence and they said, take it to this man, wave it under his nose. And they did. <laughs> so, okay, now we have a different king. Yeah. So word goes back to George III, who I call the tax man, because he's the one that started all this by taxing all the people up in Boston. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, do so he hears the word that they're you know they've got this declaration of independence going so he sends general howe's brother here this is general uh, admiral lord richard howe oh he i says, see you go to sit down with some of these people of the for peace i don't know <laughs> the, howe, the howe brothers ran the whole british military one yeah, was a this general. One, this one was Navy, the other one was. This guy Army. had the Navy. The oh, brothers, they were, so they both ran together. Uh, was one higher ranking than the other? Well, well, no. This was admiral, and the other one was general. General. So okay, so two different yeah. sides of the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that they're about equal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Wow. Well, it's and, not quite that old, so. <laughs> <laughs> and there, they're having the conference together. The. Franklin Adams Rutledge. Than he's supposed to be, right? Yeah, he's supposed he was to be very the, young. Yeah, he was yeah. the youngest man he was there. Like 25 or something, 27, yeah. I think, at one of those. And but how old was supposed to uh, John Adams and Ben Franklin supposed to be at that time? So how old, old were they supposed to be I don't know. at that time? Well, I can look it up, but yeah. I don't know what yeah. Wow. What are you going to do? In, in, so we can walk up to the room where they actually had the. Uh, no. The oh, this is the room. Okay, so this is the room where they had the peace conference right over That's here. What they tell us. Wow. <laughs>
Oh, so Ben Franklin, John Adams sat over here. That's amazing. <laughs> and then what's this room supposed to be? Dining room. Dining room, okay. Beautiful house, so well kept still to this day. Well, yeah. I'm sure there had to be some reconstruction when of they course. turned it into a museum, but. Probably a few decades back, at least. Is it, I don't know. <laughs> I know we've been here 10 years. Yeah. 1929, it says. Wow. That's, that's, yeah, that's, what, the, that's what the DAR is yeah. claiming. Nearly 100 years ago. Wow, that's impressive. Here's Ben Franklin. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, this was a display that was down at the Parks Department headquarters yeah. down the street here. And they were going to take it down and put it in the attic someplace. Oh, no. <laughs> and somebody said, you paid all the money for this. Hang it on the wall. So they did. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh, and everybody that's good. loves Franklin anyway. <laughs> he, he is yeah. definitely the most popular. Yeah. But George Washington did not sleep here or, or step no, foot here. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, is the common... His footprints yeah. are not there. <laughs> not there, yeah. I love telling young kids, you yeah. just messed up Ben Franklin's footprints. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you're ready, we'll go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, they tell original. us this is the original floor. Really? Watch your head. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Was Lord Howe a tall guy? Do you know? Don't really know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this room on the left we like to call the children's room because this is where they got all these little chairs and stuff. Um, if any, it's because people swear they have seen. in the stairs and was killed. And there are people who think that that would be the ghost. Hmm. Oh, so sad. And they see the face through the window at, knows, late at night. That's what body, they say. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Have you ever heard any? And this room was for um, for uh, the guy because he still yeah. had he still had ships and stuff, so he had paperwork. That he had to take care of, but this did antiques, and they had a big auction of all of his uh, possessions. And somebody who loves this house bought these things at the auction and donated them to us. Oh, amazing! Uh, aren't they neat? <laughs> these chairs are almost the same that my grandparents uh, had. Uh, yeah, yeah. That and there's style. A local lady that did the caning. You can. You can. I love the playing cards. <laughs> okay, and this they call a mask. They say is original. That was his in his ship. In his ship, oh yeah. Which yeah. one? Uh, Way or um, Philip? Philip. Philip. Hmm. Philip, the original guy. This fellow's name was Thomas Farmer. He married one of the Billop daughters. Yeah. They made him change his name to Billop so that he could inherit the property because his wife couldn't. Oh, I see. This is <laughs> pre-Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony and my great-great-great-grandmother. Oh, no, I, okay. I'm one of these people. They call yeah. me a descendant. Yeah. Because my great-great-great-grandmother attended the convention and signed the Declaration of Sentiments. Why, really? Up in Seneca Falls. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, well, most yeah. of those people were Quaker. Quaker, okay. Yeah, so they had, they had worked with um, uh, abolition, this suffrage thing. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. They had babies. Yeah. Thinking that they had sleeping in the air. Beautiful. I love the 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 form. Did the curtains and the sheets and pillowcases and everything? She was very. 
either early pilgrims or Dutch. There you, there uh, you go. Very suitable. <laughs> very suitable, right. <laughs> and so they also, like, potentially also uh, wrote here and, like... Sure. Yeah, well... Sure, people kept diaries. And, you know. hmm. and that's something that he might have worn. Uh, yeah, style. a, a yeah. politician yeah. donated those a few years ago. Oh, fascinating. Yeah. Very beautiful dresses as well. Yeah. Are these authentic to the era or well, they're recreation? They Beautiful. Yep. It's a nice house and it feels cool also here. It's a hot day and it feels yeah. cool inside. Yeah. yeah, it's a great old house. Thank you so much for showing me around. Well, Is I there no, 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 you haven't seen anything oh, yet. Oh, you have okay. To see the kitchen. Oh, okay. Oh, that's awesome to hear. There's a kitchen. Now, again, watch your head. Okay. We usually point this out. It's, uh, the date on here says 1748. They called this a Bible box. Mm. Uh, nobody had a computer to keep track of who births and deaths and marriages and all that stuff. Yeah, so it all went in the front pages of a big old Bible, which went in there. <laughs> That's very clever. <laughs> Where we, they, this is a, a tavern table. They tell us this is of the era. It looks like it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And the clock is 1720. 1720. But there's no there's no innards. Yeah. But it's right twice so a day. So it's not. It's right twice a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. It still <laughs> rings. No. No, no. Okay. Because <laughs> otherwise that would be annoying. <laughs> Man to the kitchen. Yes, dear. Oh, you're the kitchen, you're the downstairs man. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
uh, women's pockets because they didn't have to sew pockets. Anyway, it's all gone. Okay. It's being now. So okay, at this table here, I've got a lot of. I'm gonna, I got to stay. These were the ship's ballast. Ship's oh. ballast. You, you you know what that word I is? I told you, I'm a student. Student. I'm a student of history. Oh, okay. Of course, That's so they were also used the ballast to to um, paint the streets. That's absolutely correct. That's wow. my that's my punchline. I do ten minutes. Well, you can still do the punchline again. Don't worry. It's fascinating. Sound like that is ballast, right? I'm not talking to you. Anymore. Sorry. <laughs> says I always tell the tour guides their business. And I do you do tours? Or? I know. I too much reading but anyway i'm gonna <laughs> shut up go ahead that's the whole that's how you learn that's, that's right. <laughs> my uh, my wife and i are both readers you know we, we, I, I i made somebody a bet one time and so i bet you only 10 percent of the people have a tv in their bedroom he said you don't have one i said no bedroom is you're gonna yeah that's when you read right. all the reading is done then sometimes in the afternoon but most of the time you know when we, mm -hmm. i'm 80 so you know I don't know what that's going to Know the feeling. So that's a powder horn? That's exactly right. <laughs> you know yourself. That's <laughs> awesome. That's wonderful. No, no. You've been to the house before? Many no. years ago. Many years. What is a Can I see? Regular cow horns. And there's one. Very important, which was one of the ingredients in the in the powder for the muskets. Okay. Once it gets wet, oh, it's useless. It? it doesn't do anything. That's where mm -hmm. keep your powder dry comes from. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's where the term comes from. Yeah. Yeah. You, you pull the trigger. The hammer goes down, hits the flint. The flint makes a spark, and there's a, a thing called a powder pan, which is about the size of your thumb, yeah. full of powder. And then there's a little thin little hole called a touch hole that goes into the chamber where the where the ball is. It's literally a ball. There's no, no, no bullet. It's a round bullet, right. round piece. Yeah, it's of metal. not a long bullet. Thing. It's round like a, a mini, a little mini cannonball. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. That's it. And so the, little, the flame goes through the little. Touch oh, wait, did there. you have to light the flame? Like you had to hold a match to it? No, no. They, the, the flint makes the spark. Oh, I see. When, the flint, when you do the thing, flint. it hits the flint. Okay. I should have. I, I have. Well, that's all right. That makes sense. That's why they call yeah. it a flintlock. Yeah, flint line, right, flint. right, right. Gotcha. Anyway, so that's just where you keep the powder here, because mm. you know there's nothing worse than going out and sh going to shoot a deer to feed your family for a week. And, the and you, you take an aim and you pull the trigger, the, everything happens, the spark happens, but the powder doesn't fly. Oh yeah, yeah, that was really frustrating. Let me ask a question: How long did it take to reload? Because you had to put the ball in, you had to put push it in, you right, gotta, you and do put a all patch that. In, you got to put a patch in first and, and get all the junk out of the barrel. Oh, you got to clean it after each yeah, shot? Yeah, yeah, just, just one, one or two shots. Amazing they ate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the deer's long gone. And they had the patience to do that in the battlefield as oh, well. Yeah. Well, yeah, why get people who shoot at you? Yeah. Uh, the thing is, you don't want to start a fire in the barrel. And any of that stuff that didn't that. get get burnt, right. you got to fire. Now you got a rifle that's on fire. Yeah. Interesting. It wasn't easy. No, I guess it wasn't. You had a okay, this over butter. here. This, oh, I know what this is. By the time you were 13 or 14, and if you were a woman. This is what women had to do. Mm -hmm. There wasn't enough to do. They had to do this crap. <laughs> right. Was it? Um, Nicely done. Was it supposed to be? Embroidery. Yeah, it's an embroidery. But they but, would learn their ABCs, oh. and they would learn some good quotes. I'm surprised yeah. there's no Bible verses. Oh, it was a way to teach uh, kids. Womanly yeah, yeah. art. Sample. Uh, and these mean, the, right, doesn't the pineapple mean hospitality? Right? Fascinating. Yep. And they churn their butter. Now, what is this thing? Beautiful. It's a press. Is that's this a, a clothes press? That's a linen press. A linen press. So that's how they would keep everything flat. Well, they actually, that was to just to get the water out. Oh, you would fold your like bed the old, okay. Yeah, and th then they had the new ringer. You know, the old, no, you're not that old. The old fashioned <laughs> tubs were like this, and they had a ringer on the side. And you'd put, feed the clothes in between two rubber rolls. Right, right, right. I've seen then, pictures of that. And squeeze but the water out. Then they would use this to squeeze the water out? Wait, they would. That's 
Look at that. There's I thought window. they would leave the stuff in there, like to stay flat. Yeah, nope, there's a nope. piece of linen in there. I gotta get this light on. I've always had this light open. Can you see where to turn that on? There is no the switch. switch. Oh, the there it is. There yeah. you go. Um, this this is what gets me here. See this thing here? Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. machines back there, no electricity. So there's no lathes to turn the, to turn this out on a lathe. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh wow. Some guy sits there with a knife. With a, a paddle, maybe? Did he have a paddle to turn it? I don't know. Like a foot paddle? Because mm. you would need like Not this even. One. But can you imagine? Yeah, and it's got to be precise. It can't yeah, be. Right? Yeah, right. Or it would get stuck. Up. Wow, that's amazing. And I used to run this up and down, but I got in trouble because it's too old. <laughs> anyway, so then you, you you wring the water out of it, and then you take take it out and hang it on the line outside. Oh, I see. Oh, so really press. But I'm looking at the labor to yeah, make to this make thing. That thing. What was the point of pressing linens? What was the function? Just to keep the water out. <laughs> Just keep the water out, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we used to have ringers that did that yeah. there. Oh, I see. And these well, long handled things are so they didn't have to go so close to the fire and like Yeah, right, right, exactly. Right. So there you go. Then look at the oven in the back there. Cool. Beehive oven. This is this is something new. All this came this year. This nice. Oh really? <laughs> pan like that is the best. Oh, the good iron? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah. cast iron frying pan is the best. Fit to bring your husband. In. Wow. Oh, that's a coal skull? No, it's just go out and get water. Ooh, they... Yeah, no, they do went to the well. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Twice as heavy. And you right. throw a chicken in and you, and you boil the chicken. Right. Now, that will feed two people, right. two men, and you had 50 men. Also, they working were... Working the farm, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Impressive. Yeah, so the lady's got a lot of muscles. Yeah. <laughs> I love how there you even have a meat pie, a fruit yeah. pie. <laughs> this is all new. That's nice. Well, this just started two right. months ago. I better go up because my the rest of my party are going to be getting in. Stories. Oh, I'm sorry. This is so pretty. That's amazing. What is that? I'm just looking at the way they named it. The clay. Oh, here's all the oysters, because this place used to be filled with oysters. That's right. In the 1800s, they had about 40 sailing ships out here, and the oyster industry was the industry that built this whole area, the southern tip of Staten Island. Oh, down here in Staten Island yeah, as well. Oh, fascinating. See that over there? Yeah. That's all clay. It's from Staten Island. That's all Staten Island. Really? Yeah, Staten Island had a lot of clay. When I was a kid, there was some in yeah, my house. Yeah, take a look right there. And this is pewter. I better get. Pewter's no good because it's tin and what? Lead. Oh, it's lead. I see. And the lead will come out in solution and will fry your brain. That's right. <laughs> no, really, they would. That's right not good. In there. Traditionally yeah, used as. Made into bricks uh, yes, to import right. over from that Asia. I never heard of. Wow. Now, so you weren't around in 1773. Oh, Did this they... is what they've done. That's what they simply removed a small bit. Oh. And they all dressed like the Indians and dumped all the tea in the harbor. Right. Because they look like. Attacks their tea. The worst thing you can do with a Britishman is tax his tea. He has to drink coffee now. Oh my God. Um, now, pay attention. I'm going to talk about the bricks. Okay. Okay, wonderful. We're going to talk about ballast bricks. You know about ballast bricks. Ballast is a word that just means weight. Yeah. And when the ships left Europe to come over to the United States, he had to buy cargo. As soon as they get about 20, 30, well, even about 10 miles offshore, the winds would pick up and howl. And the winds would blow the sail, blow the ship right down, blow it over, blow it down. The rail would hit the water, the water would come in over under the rail, and the ship would sink. Mm. So what are they going to do? They've got to keep that ship from leaning over that far. So they, the ships had 16 feet deep, and they took all these bricks, weight, anything with weight, and they loaded it down low, 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 
down next to the keel. Ships that had to pivot all that weight. The wind is not that strong to pivot the weight, so the ship stayed upward. This is another thing you can do too. You can let out the sheet line, uh, or you could just head up into the wind. Either one would keep the ship on an even keel. Either one. Are you, are you a sailor? Yeah. Are you a sailor? Well, it was a counterbalance. Been, yeah, yeah, it was a counterbalance, but there yeah. must have been a way to load these so they didn't wow. move it That's out. There had to be a way to And load are these the original inscriptions? Yeah. Okay, so now we know what ballast is, we know yeah. how it was used, and when the ships come over here, they don't need the ballast for the weight because they've got the cargo there for it. Oh, I so see. now they take all, they're unloading all these ballast bricks and throwing them anywhere in the yard, in the, in the shipyard where they landed. <laughs> so now, don't waste anything. One of these days, there's a, uh, a militia man, not militia, uh, a columnist. He decided, you know, we got, we work in mud here, a whole day we work in a mud hole, you know, with the dirt and the water and everything else. He said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take all these ballast bricks that we have no room for anymore in the yard because every ship unloads them and every ship uses their cargo that they bought. So he said, you know, what? we're going to pave the streets around this. I said, you said, remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they use those ballast bricks. So if you ever walked around, uh, Boston, uh, New York, Philadelphia. You go in the old sections yeah, of town. Yeah, mm. yeah they're, they're dusty. You're walking on those ballast bricks. Savannah, I stole one in oh. Savannah at the street once. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. Savannah, Georgia. I was a little drunk on Savannah's down there too. That has it too. Charleston. Oh, Savannah. fascinating. Charleston, so they reused the ballast bricks. Right. Yeah. That, that's, they paved the streets with the ballast bricks. <laughs> so they had. They had because yeah. they don't need it going back. They got the cargo going back. Uh, anyway, so that's what's here. Now, when they decided to restore yeah. this place in, in the 20s, they said we're going to start from the bottom and work up. So, they so this isn't, it wasn't here when Billick was here? No. It was dirt. It was just dirt. It was dirt. dirt. Oh, it was just dirt. Wow, okay. And when Billick was here, it was paved with those things. Those are the, those the, those are the original, original ballast. They're from 1680. Oh, these are even older. Okay. Yeah, the and why are they, some of them blue? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be on the test, so listen up. Okay. I think it was the decoration. <laughs> huh? Decoration. <laughs> okay. Oh, it had looks a functional pretty, purpose. though. Look how pretty it looks. Yeah, yeah it does look pretty. Close. Okay, so they come down there in 19, the mid 1920s to restore this place. We're going to start downstairs and work our way apart. They walk down the stairs there and they take a look, and what they see is a dirt floor with about eight or nine of those ballast bricks. Just like that, I keep pointing over there. Mm. So uh, what are we gonna do? Well, we gotta write the Dutch government. Dutch government says, we know what you're doing. You're restoring an old Dutch farm out, which this is, because that's the people who are doing right, it. Right. Dutch. English pay for it, Dutch, the Dutch built it. Because they were the okay. builders. And, and we're talking 1680 now. That's the, all that was around here was Dutch. Right. Anyway, so they said, okay, well, 450 bricks, and when they ship them over, UPS pulls up one day, says, hey, got a load of bricks. Where do you want them? They dump them here. They dump the bricks and they go and they look at them. And they sort them all out. And they realize they got blue ones, orange ones, and one white brick right there in the center. Yeah, I saw that. 1929. Well, they're not exactly contemporary, but hey. No, no. That, that, mm. that, that's when they got here. That's when, when they started restoring this place. Mm, and that's oh, the see. company, uh, BLC. So why are they blue, orange, and white? Oh, uh, the huh? Dutch flag? Dutch flag. Right? <laughs> oh, good. oh, that's fascinating. Years, oh, so they came like yeah. this. They came with this oh. blue glaze on Yes, they come with that. Now, if you get one that the letters are the right way, yeah. I'm going to interpret it for you. VLA, yes. Van Lucan Corporation, has been making bricks for 453 yes. years. Then you see the next word is Holland. Right. Everybody calls... It's country is called the Netherlands, but everybody right. calls it Holland, including the people that live there. Mm -hmm. Right. Holland is the largest prov province that has, it's like Canada, they got provinces, uh, and has ha um, Rotterdam and Amsterdam, and so it's the most populous province, so they had that word on there, and they, they couldn't fit uh, the Netherlands on it anyway, so that's why. <laughs> Holland of is a lot easier than the Netherlands. Holland, that's right. <laughs> and then you see the year they were shipped, 1929. Wow, they were still making uh, ballast 
back then. No, well, I don't think they, they were still then. making bricks, but I doubt they would use any old oh, sailing oh, right, ships. Right, right, right. All right, I am going to run. This was fascinating. Thank you so much. You missed Thank the most you. fascinating part. <laughs> okay, There's more. On, let's see. What is it? Going over there now. Okay. Ooh, okay, wonderful. You're going to shoot me. No. I'm coming, guys. <laughs> Hey, they didn't want to. They didn't want to learn. I'm yeah. saying, well, she's afraid of the ghost. She feels that it's oh. like this one did. She's what? You no, know, she does. She got the creeps when she used to come down with us. She didn't want to come down anymore. I don't know. Going what into, saying. she gets the creeps down here. Oh. She was down here years ago when she was. There. I don't. I don't feel it. Some people. <laughs> it feels. I feel good vibes inside you, here. You know, yeah, I do too. Some people are very sensitive to that, but I yeah. guess I'm not. Colonial. Uh, I mean, we're already hearing the ghost's footsteps. There you go. Right? <laughs> this is what you're going to watch your head right here. Yeah. Let me uh, watch your head. So. Now, I sit over here because not the best service here, so I'll just leave the camera there. Now, you can grab a chair and open it up. Good, good, okay. good. Yeah, you won't. What? Yeah. right in front of the cheese press. Oh, is that what it was? A ah, cheese press. Right, you know, right? I wouldn't know how to use a cheese press. Okay. Well, there's not much to know how to use either. I didn't know now, you that had stick where she takes cheese. the stick out and you move it around. So, what, you got to get the moisture out of your cheese? Yes. Okay. See, you never made, you're not that Italian. Italian I am Italian. Make. I never Good. made mozzarella, no. Oh, well, when you make it, it's all water. You pick a, a blob out, like two hands full, and it's 90% water. So, you put that on the lower thing, you watch your head. Uh huh. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You extend the set, then you crank that up, and you yeah. squeeze the water out. Oh, you squeeze the water out for the cheese. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's edible. Then, then you can eat it without turning on it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Interesting. And they, I guess, had shelves in here, and they would put all the roots and such in to keep the No, winter. that's, these are the, the chairs that we, we host. Step but I know you put the chairs in, but I mean, the people that lived here put No, these, these chairs things. were Staten Island and Shakespeare Theater. Which we sort of sponsor my wife. And oh, my, nice. And we, they, they, they do Shakespearean plays. Oh, I oh, love good. Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. And do you ever go out to the uh, Richmond Town? Uh -huh. I've been out to I did too, yeah. yeah. There's an old courthouse out there. I grew up early, there. early 1800s. Do you know the courthouse out there? <laughs> One time they did a play, old girls. All the play was Julia Caesar. Julia Caesar. I saw that. My friend was Julia Caesar. Do you know Diane Zarega? Diane. Diane Zarega. She was Julius yeah. Caesar. Oh, she yeah, I, I saw that part. That was good. She was great. And what's her name? Oh, Ryan, Ryan, whatever, was Brutus. Oh, that yeah. was really good. Ryan. Yeah, that was got, that's got to be four or five years. A long time ago. I just waited till yeah. Caesar died because oh, I had someplace else to go. Very good. Oh, my I wife will that. take your ticket. Your ticket, and we'll show you to your seat. Thank you so much. Yeah, do we do a lot of theater because she's all involved. Oh, free. Yeah. That's nice. No, no, we don't get paid for this stuff. <laughs> oh, oh you thank you. It was yeah. so nice. Have thank a good you. Day. This was wonderful. Tell me what I missed. He's going to tell me something. Yeah, you got to hear about the ghost. <laughs> no, I don't know. What's that? What's this thing right here? What's that? Oh, these are benches. Yeah, okay. just benches. Okay, how this is built, Ray, listen up now. Okay. It's going to be on the yeah, test. <laughs> you got to picture, when you build a house, the first room you build is the root cell. Yeah. So you can feed your family, because usually it takes a year to build a house. You feed your family and your workers. So, this is all just grass and dirt out here. So they're going to build the root cell. They got the design they want. So now, what do we need to build it? Mm -hmm. Sand. We're going to do this with sand. Well, we're lucky we're on a beach, we're on an island, islands surrounded by beaches, the beaches are full of sand. Yeah. So they start bringing wheelbarrows full of sand up there, and they start dumping it out. This is 33 feet long, six and a half feet high, 13 feet wide. Wow. 13 feet wide. You can imagine how many barrels of sand that is. Yes, <laughs> you don't think, but... <laughs> you're, not, you're about five foot, maybe. Five two, however many others. Okay, I think this is not quite six, but I could be wrong. And this is natural stone, I would imagine. From That's the actual field stone. Field stone. That came from right where you're standing. And they make the cement with the sand, and what else? How did they make cement? Well, they make uh, whatever colonial mortar was made out of. It's all up here. Yeah, I see that. Now, I got, what, the way this works is they get all this sand, they bring up tons and tons of sand. 
they got this big 33 feet long thing. They get it all, they start smoothing it out now. Mm. This is the shape they want, it's dome shape. And now what they're gonna do is they're gonna wet it. Have to wet it, give it some substance. So they start digging barrels of seawater in. Pour it on the top whole thing in. So now you got wet sand. Wet sand you can build, you know, tree sand house. Castle. What do you call it? Sand castles, that kind of stuff. Right. So now they're gonna start wetting the bricks. Now get, luckily a Staten Island is filled with clay, so they got plenty of clay uh, brick makers on Staten Island. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't think Chrysler is one. Anyway. Yeah, my face so now they start laying the bricks. They start on this side over here where the sand meets the dirt, and they start laying the bricks. Boom, 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 boom. And all, all the all this wet sand will hold the weight of a brick, no problem at all. So a brick, one brick, 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 brick. So they cover this whole thing full of bricks, and it's been that way since 19, uh, since 1680. Well, maybe I'll walk Listen. out now. Yes, every day. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. Also, oh, you mean in terms of... Me for, for, thank you so much. This was fascinating. It really was. Thank you. Very I'm going to leave a donation. That's that's amazing. Yeah. 1680. Wow, okay. And it's been there. And let me tell you, it I'm weeps. Leaving. It weeps. It, it's, it's weeping. Right now, it's huh. weeping brick dust and water dust. White <laughs> water dust and uh, red brick dust. If you take a piece of paper, flat piece of, like, what do you call it? Stuff that's in kids' notebooks and like that. Yeah. Just take it and lay it on the floor and come back 24 hours later. It's covered with the finest brick powder. And white, the white mortar powder. It constantly leaking. People walking around inside, outside, and generating this. Um, that's amazing. Making this stuff. And it weeps. I call it weeping. I don't know what word. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, uh, br or breathing as well. Yeah, uh, so they used to use this as a like a cheese cave as well. What's that? A cheese cave. Well, they, maybe they cheese it. roots, yeah. the barrel roots of uh, potatoes, uh, yeah, potatoes as well, onions, uh, carrots. Any anything that was a root had to be a root. Oh, oh they stored it in here. Yeah, impressive. The ladies make soup in these things. They take it outside on yeah. hot coals on the ground, and that's how they make the soup. They heat it up. That's when the peep, uh, the person upstairs, Farmer, Thomas Farmer, you met him? He had yeah. to add Billup to his name to marry <laughs> yeah. the granddaughter. That's Thomas Farmer Billup's tombstone. Oh. That piece you see down there goes on top of this. You can see how they fit together. Wow. Oh, well, that was a big tombstone. Yeah. yeah. Somehow, a guy pulled up, my wife and I hanging out here about, uh, I don't know, eight or, eight or nine years ago, and all of a sudden this little pickup truck pulls up, pulls up, he says, hey, I think I got something that belongs to And sure enough, we read it. It says right on it, Thomas Farmer Bill, age 39. Uh, he found it in... Oh, he died very young as well. Huh? He died very young, 39. Oh, yeah, 39. No, very they, young. Yeah. 39 was probably average, average, you know. Mm -hmm. And you got to be 60, you were an old man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, uh, he came nine years ago and just dropped it off. Yeah, wow. and we thanked him very much, and he knew he knew Billup was associated with this this place here. Right. Um, That's amazing. And there it was, right there. That's amazing. And, uh, all right, did, did I talk about it? I talked about this, the bricks, how it's always weeping, constantly weeping. That room was one big solid door, but people wouldn't come in. They were afraid to come in. Big solid door, wow, okay. Well, it wasn't at all. It was all brick. Oh, it was all brick. <laughs> people wouldn't come in. They get uh, claustrophobic. A lot of people are claustrophobic. Of course, yeah, yeah. And uh, so we just, not, I, we didn't knock it out, but people knocked it out and opened it up. So people would, wouldn't be afraid to come in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels a little bit more open, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Impressive. Okay, well, yeah. thank you. Watch your head. Yeah, you made it okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. And was there any inscriptions here? Did anyone leave any, like, graffiti? No, nothing uh -huh. like that. No, that's all Staten Island now, White Pine. It's been there for 322 years. And hopefully it stays up for another couple. Wow. Well-kept kitchen as well, space. It's very impressive that they... Yeah. That this looks rather new because... And that's oh, also yeah. beautifully, beautifully preserved, but yeah. this looks a lot more newer than the Morris Jamel. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. You know what that is? 
No, what is that? Quite tall. It's a baby's high chair. Oh, it's a baby's high chair. <laughs> and that seat moves up and down. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, it's extendable. Well, oh, my well, God. You can move it. I can move it? Oh. You can slide it. No, the seat. Just the seat part. Just the seat. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It moves this way. I... No, no, no. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. You I see. Lower, lower it and raise it. <laughs> That's clever. And the baby can stay in there until he's ready to go to college. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for taking me around. Oh, no problem. I'm going to continue doing. walking around. Yeah, 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 we enjoy you doing it. Have a great day. Yeah, yeah. you too. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right, so let me show you the house from afar. All right, so everyone, uh, we are in the, I started with that tour. It was quite long, it was 40 minutes. Uh, they were so, uh, I was so appreciative that they allowed me to film inside there spontaneously. This was not organized beforehand. And um, this is the southernmost point of New York State and the southernmost point of Staten Island, all the way in the very And this house is Dutch colonial style, um, but, uh, the original person who lived here was a British uh, military man by the name of Philip. And this was the place, uh, long story short, to summarize for what we got went in here, it's called the Conference House. And in September 11, 1776, Lord Howe, the general for the British military, just a few months after the Declaration of Independence was signed, asked the Americans, who at that time weren't like American. Let's have a talk. Let's see if we can handle this. Let's see if we can uh, um, make peace before we continue killing both of our men. The Brits weren't really sacrificing too many of their men. They were spending a whole lot of money on mercenaries. So they probably wanted to also save money. Well, Lord Howe met up with John Adams, Ben Franklin, and another gentleman by the name of Rutledge. Rutledge isn't so famous, but he was the youngest guy who signed the Declaration of Independence. Ben Franklin and, Lo and John Adams, many of us already know who they were. John Adams was the second president of the United States of America. Well, they chatted with Lord Howe, and Lord Howe promised many things, such as ceasing fire, men can, uh, their lives can be saved, maybe releasing the men from the war uh, the prison prisoner warships in modern day brooklyn navy yard there was a lot of americans being uh, imprisoned there and had horrible conditions maybe they would be freed but the americans of course wanted peace i mean they wanted independence lord howe did not have the power to grant independence for the americans so ben franklin and John Adams are like, <laughs> no way, <laughs> we shall continue war. So the priest treaty never worked out. Well, it was close. I'm not sure if someone's uh, yelling at me. You're referring to me? Hey, what's your name? Reverend Jenny. Oh, Reverend Jenny. Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure, feel free. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'll see, keep my distance. That's awesome. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm on live video right now. I know. Yeah. I you from the house. Oh. I asked somebody. It looks familiar to me. Where are you? the conference house? Yes. <laughs> Honey, I came flying over here. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. I've been home all day. Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't. I didn't care. I've been dying to meet you. Oh, that's awesome. I watched your blog. Oh, yeah. I love them. 
I love that you comment a lot as well. You were watching the Italy videos just recently. Yeah. And you're a local to Staten Island. Yeah. Oh, that's I all live awesome. Off the, uh, off, off the Hill Road. Okay. Down that way. So you're nearby, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a 15 minute walk from where I live. Oh, wonderful. So I saw you, so I had to say hi. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I don't know where you're going to have dinner tonight or whatever. There's a place called the Town Deli. Town Deli, okay. Also off the Hill Road. Yeah. The whole world goes there. Including <laughs> myself, I've been going there for 20 years. Delicious Italian food. Oh, okay. So they have everything. Good to know. Town Deli. Wine Delhi. and beer, sangria, just to let you know. Oh, they have the full works. Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask you, what's a good food recommendation? The town, honey, the town deli. Town deli, okay. On, on, on the you look it up, yeah. you'll find it. It's very easy to find. Are you walking? I mean, I, I'm walking a little bit, yeah. You know, I mean, I came here by car, yeah. Okay, they have a parking lot. Oh, they have a parking lot. That's good. You can park your car. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let you know. And, uh, and how long have you been a Staten Island resident, if I may ask? Off and on since the 1970s. Since the 1970s? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And what's your favorite thing about the borough? I love Staten Island. Okay. I live in Pottenville. Yeah. To me, of all the, of all the towns, this is the, this is the best town. This is the best. Right. This. You have nature. Hmm. You, can, you have the beach. Which is uh, which I'm gonna show very soon. Yeah. You have hiking trails. <laughs> Great restaurants. It is. I don't feel like I'm in New York City anymore. That's what my friends say when it comes to visit me. Yeah. They say, this is this is New York City. They say yes. <laughs> People plant their gardens. A lot of Victorian homes here in Tottenville. Okay. A lot. And they still have gardens where they plant uh, fruits and vegetables and... Oh yeah, absolutely. A lot of people do. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> and you feel safe. The kids leave their toys in the driveway. Yeah. Or be there for days, honey. Okay, so it's safe. <laughs> they just leave the bicycles yeah. for days. I'm like, you know, they may fly. Stuff away, you know? <laughs> and, and if, if they want to they take something, they'll put a sign. Free. Oh, that's wonderful. So they know you can take it. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm <laughs> I'm here in Tottenville because it's my hometown. Uh, yeah, I decided because I didn't never knew that there was a, such an old residence here in, in Staten Island. Oh, yeah. So And the neighborhood itself is very beautiful, so I might show a little bit. It is. There's a, there's a lot of Victorian homes. Once you start heading that way towards Arthur Hill Road, yeah. there's a lot of Victorian homes. And you can tell that it was established 1840, established 1860. You can see, you know. And are you a working reverend? Retired, okay, okay. But I got bored and I decided to do volunteer work at a museum. Yeah. And I got hired. Yeah. <laughs> you got hired. At the Merchant House Museum, that's where I work. Oh, I see. Twice a day, twice a week. Oh, twice a week, okay. Yeah, for years. Well, what, what denomination were you a reverend of? Christian. Oh, but was there a specific denomination? Was, uh, no, no. My, my church was up in the Bronx. General, okay. I lived in the Bronx for 20 years. Mm. Yeah. But then, you know, things happen, things happen, you know, and I retired, and, uh, but, you know, I like doing stuff. And, uh, and do kids still swim, or people still swim at the beach? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you go, so, yeah. not over here so much. Okay, not this one. I mean, yeah. it goes all the way around, all the way around. Yeah. And you see people swimming. I go in the water myself. I don't swim. Yeah. But people swim. We have someone saying, uh, Cynthia says, tell her hi, sister. Do you have a sister named Cynthia? No. No, probably. Hi. <laughs> but hello. Probably using the, the Christian term, sister, yeah. You know, but hi, but, um, there's lots of crabs, there's holding yeah. crabs. You see them in the water sometimes. Sometimes right. you see a lot of dead crabs because the water comes in. Oh, of course, of and course. The fish comes in with the water and you should go back with the water, so, yeah. But there's a lot of nature, wild, wild turkeys here. There's wild turkeys yes, around. Yes, that's that's awesome. Yes, <laughs> Good for Thanksgiving, yeah. Besides the deer. Oh, there's deer as well, okay. Awesome. Raccoons. Oh my god. <laughs> We're still in New York City. <laughs> that's... They call this the countryside. It feels like it, yeah. Staten Island. Right. But some people live in Tottenham. Oh, you live in the country. I'm not telling you, you don't know what country is. But yeah. <laughs> Do you have any neighbors that are like Dutch descendants? Like, like very, very no. old, old New Yorkers? Mostly here no. is Italian, right? Italian or Mexican. Oh, more uh, Mexicans are moving now. Oh, that's a lot cool. Of Mexican shops. Oh, interesting. Okay. On Main Street. 
Yeah. A lot of groceries. Shop owned by Mexicans. Oh, fascinating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see the Italian influence because there's all the food seems to be Italian American. Yes. Yeah. And a town deli is Italian owned. Oh, okay. It's well, been around since the nineteen seventies, the town deli. Oh wonderful. So Reverend Jenny, it was wonderful meeting you. I know you're worthy, yes. but I just had to say hello. I'm so glad you did say hello. Uh, and uh, I'm so excited to show more of this area Staten Island. So thank you so much for tuning in. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs>
with Lord Howe, sailed back via a personal escort back to Perth Amboy so they can go off. When Ben Franklin went over to Perth Amboy, this general area around here, he ended up giving a few gold coins to one of the soldiers who gave, who was the escort, and he refused. He refused because, of course, he was part of the British side and he did not want to accept any money from those darn rebels. <laughs> but Ben Franklin uh, ended up writing later that he was grateful that he tried anyway to see if he can maybe change the man's mind showing them that Americans knew how to handle money. It was a little anecdote that Ben Franklin likes telling. And then from there, Rutledge, Rutledge, Franklin, and Adams went over to Pennsylvania in order to discuss the Continental Congress and the Constitution. Pizza review on the ghost says the pavilion is brand new. The old one got destroyed by Hurricane Sandy. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's fascinating. It says I can't believe it. This is bliss. It is very blissful. We are right now in the most southern point of New York City, ladies and gentlemen. We're still in New York City. We're in the very southern point of the city and the state. In the water, unfortunately, dead fish from from the hurricane. Hey Tigers from Park Slope, thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, let's continue walking through. Sunshine after rain is such a peaceful day, it really is. Have a paddle. Susie, yes. Just go casually for a nice canoeing trip. Not that many people canoe here, because uh, unlike uh, like certain lakes in Europe, these are much more rougher. Oh my god, so much dead fish. Anyone let me know who knows a lot about the sea? Why is there so much dead fish here? That's crazy, what happened? Did these rain down from the sky during the hurricane? get to the South Pole to see uh, did you get to see the South Pole on the beach? No uh, pizza review goes. We're so far down we can basically see Antarctica from here. How far is the house from the ferry stop? Ooh, ooh, very far. You know driving it's about an hour. So we're about an hour driving distance from the ferry give or take 10 or 20 minutes or so. Um, so we're pretty damn far. I'm not sure about bus. Bus might be longer because I doubt there's an express bus and I don't think a train passes through here. So if anyone knows, do let us know the exact time. So to wrap this up, the house closes at 4 p.m. It's only open on the weekends. So come here on a Saturday, it closes at four if you wanna see the house. Is there a beach here, Wendy? Yeah, there is a beach and people do swim. May not in this one, they say, uh, Reverend Jenny said that the one further down, they swim. Hey, Tigers Wood says, uh, like and sub. Thank you so much. You're from, uh, you from Texas, but you lived in New York City and you love this content. Oh, so glad you do, Tigers Wood. Is there a bench here? Ooh, bench. I've not seen the proper bench yet. Not a proper one. So pizza reviews on the go, another uh, Staten Islander, local, has said Raritan Bay is very clean. We have eagles, whales, harbors, and seals because of the bunker fishing is prohibited. What? Sometimes the school of fish 
get so large that they asphyxiate. Oh, that's why. He, 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 he had a <laughs> Large die off of fish due to bacteria of unknown origin. Oh, that's so sad. Let me show you just a little glimpse of the neighborhood. Uh, Reverend Jenny, thank you so much. So Reverend Jenny says it's 25 minute walk to the train. Yeah, that's quite far. <laughs> In New York terms, that's quite far from a train. So 25 minute walk to the train. Still doable to get here. You do have to trek through a relatively um, purely residential neighborhood. Here's the entrance to the park. No. Oh, COVID test. So if you come here by car, there's parking basically anywhere. Also, the park itself has uh, parking. Let me wait until this car passes. So here's Highland Boulevard. Highland Boulevard goes the entire length of Sand Island North South here, Highland Boulevard. North South. Let me know how far north it goes for the Stan Island locals. But this is the North South Boulevard. It's one hour, bus is one hour and 45 minutes to St. George, says Reverend Jenny. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so far away. Oh wow, we are like crazy far away. Um, it's crazy to think about because this is a population of nearly 500,000 people. 495,000 and some people live here. 500,000. Staten Island is bigger than the state of Wyoming. Think about that. It's bigger than some U.S. states. This little island. The forgotten borough of New York. Let me show you the buses that pass through here. We got uh, two regular buses and then we have the, the Sim buses. And one actually goes to Midtown. Ooh, you can take a bus to Midtown, the Sim 26. Right here. You can take it all the way to 57th and Lex. Wendy says, you love my shirt. Thank you so much, Wendy. You know, um, now that I'm away from the upheaval that happened in Italy, in Milan due to the pineapple protests. I am sporting pineapples on my shirt. All right, let me just show you a little bit more. Let me show you at least one residential street here so you get an idea. Uh, this area is more like suburban. Now, up until the, about the 1940s around there, before mass exodus to the suburbs in New Jersey and in Nassau County, this area, Tottenville, actually had some of the oldest families in New York that weren't Native American Lenape. Um, so a lot of Dutch New Yorkers lived here only until about the early suburbanization. That's why I asked Reverend Jenny if she had any uh, neighbors that were of that ancestry. Unfortunately, it seems like many of them have moved or kind of have married into Italian American families. But yeah, this used to be the area to see old school Dutch in the 1930s New York. Not anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Esfiel says, oh no, the no ananas protest of 2021. Yeah, it was rough, rough times. Reverend says, I take the Sim 26 to Manhattan. Oh, that's so cool. They need streetcars. Teresa, I agree. I would love to see a New York re-implementing streetcars. It's very quiet. Yes, it is. 
wasn't that like a week ago? It feels like time has gone by, says S Fields. Yep, that was a week ago. The great Ananas, no Ananas protest of 2021. Pizza review on the goes has left a $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for our pizza review on the goes for the generous $5 super chat. I will be heading out. Um, this brings me to the end of this trip here, all the way down to the southern point of Staten Island. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was the main thing to show you. Stay tuned. I'll be live tomorrow again at 3 p.m. Weather permitting. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. We'll be back live at 3 p.m. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that tour, Spontaneous. Uh, I, tr I tried to come before they closed and they were so awesome to let me film because, you know, with uh, when it comes to these type of smaller historical houses, it's not really easy to reach the people who work there via email and phone, even phone, you know. So it was awesome to just show up and they gave me permission to film. So huge round of hearts to the conference house and the two volunteers that worked there, a lovely couple that mentioned they were married for 57 years. They're married for 57 years, crazy amount of time, 57 years. So if you are in the Staten Island area, New York City area, I recommend coming down here. It's very nice, especially if you've seen a lot of New York already. It's a very, very different thing from what you would see in the rest of New York. Everyone, if you want, ooh, B just passed. If you want access to 360 videos, feel free to become a patron, patreon.com slash urbanist. Press that become a supporter button or that join button and mega urbanist, $20 or more on Patreon or YT, will end up getting postcards from New York City. Maybe even Staten Island, everyone. Awesome, and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye from the most southern point of New York City.